Hi everybody, it's Faith from Pirate Sign Tarot. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So, it's Monday evening, Eastern Time, in the United States, where I live. So, the work week top and bottom of the deck reading is about 12 hours late. I apologize. Monday morning wasn't happening again this week. I'm sorry. I overslept again. And yesterday, when I got home from work, I laid down to meditate for a couple hours and just slept. So, again, I apologize. Um, yeah. Anyway, we're here now. So, my long four-day stretch at my bread and butter job is over. I have this evening and all day tomorrow off. I don't have to return to work until 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday, so we're going to throw some content up over the next day, day and a half. Alright? We're going we're gonna to get this done. We're not going to relax this week. We're just not, because I'm way farther behind the eight ball than I like to be at this point. So, that being said, those of you who are new here and don't know quite how we do this, this is how we do this here. I go by the elements for this particular reading. Earth air, water, fire in this instance, because it's Taurus season, still, I believe. As far as I know, it's still Taurus season. Taurus is an earth sign, so earth signs will go first. And we'll go around the wheel accordingly. Fire signs going last. Oh. Sorry guys, you know I love you. But it is what it is. Everybody takes their turn going first. Everybody takes their turn going last. And that's just the way it is. Okay. Real quick, short and sweet, to the point. I try not to drag these out. My goal is not to put you to sleep. It's really not my goal. So, same as a general sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign reading. If it resonates, it resonates. If it don't, it don't. It's not your story. Either it is or it isn't. You want to watch all the way through so you can check your moon rising your Venus sign reading by the element? Please do. Go for it. I encourage it. So we understand the ground rules. This is for entertainment purposes only. It is the tarot. It is meant to be fun, just so we're all aware of that. Sorry, this deck is like killing me tonight. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. If you're a cross watcher popping in, that's okay. This would be the cross watcher reading. It really would. And you can cross watch for everybody with this one. Alright, so we're going to get to it. One more shuffle. We'll get earth signs on the table. It's still raining. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh. Ugh. I'm not a huge fan of the rain. I'm really not. I mean, it's better than snow, which is what it could be doing here this time of year, believe it or not. But, oh, I don't mind it, you know, once a week. But this on and on and on. Oh, my gosh. I'm over it. I need sunshine, y'all. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. King of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Oh. Y'all got some serious feels and it's keeping you up. Wow. You all bat crap bonkers about this. Alright. Alright. Well, we're gonna figure it out. Okay. Don't fret. Nobody panic. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh. In the past, with the King of Pentacles reversed and the Four of Cups in the reverse. Somebody ripped an offer off the table, possibly? Maybe they felt like, or maybe you felt like, well, things can be vice versa after all, your offer was being ignored. Straight up ignored. Not even acknowledging the cup. Okay. Hmm. 
And here and now, four of pentacles and the three of swords. Somebody holding back those emotions. Not saying what needs to be said, not doing what needs to be done. Led to heartbreak. Okay. Okay. I'm tracking well, what's coming up this week. Ten of swords in the reverse. King of swords in the reverse. Oh. Somebody copping a toot? I think somebody's copping a serious attitude here. Somebody is not thrilled. It's kind of feeling like the sun is not going to shine anytime soon and they're not going to get over this. Could be you, could be them. All right, well, let's see. Mm, do I really need to clarify anything? I don't think I do. I don't think any of that needs to be clarified, actually. That was pretty short, sweet, and to the point. Okay, well, Earth Signs, what are you going to do about it? Your handy little piece of advice for the week. Star in the reverse and three of wands in the reverse. Star can talk about healing. You can talk about wish fulfillment. You can talk about proper energy flow. It can talk about the connection between the 5D and the 3D, how we play, you know. Mm. Very open-ended card it is. This is saying don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath on this situation. If you were the one being ignored, they're going to continue to ignore you. If you were the one holding back breaking hearts, well, eh, you know. Depend, you know, who did what. I don't know. All things can be vice versa. Time and energy are both fluid. Don't hold your breath. Don't wait. And don't go crazy. Ooh, the Princess of Wands and the Two of Cups. That makes a little bit more sense. Don't wait for them. Maybe you need to be the one to initiate it. Yeah, if you're the one holding back, be the initiator. Be like, hey, what's up? What's going on? Why let yourself be crazy over it? Well, and certainly try to maintain a positive attitude. You don't need to get all persnippity about it by any means. You know, if you're the one being persnippity, Earth signs, I'm not saying it's you. I'm not pointing fingers. It's not what I do. Or I try not to anyway. I mean, I just read the cards, guys. Don't, don't get all obsessed over the feels, okay? One more set of advice for you. In the Wheel of Fortune and the Prince of Swords. The Prince of Swords... He's the communication guy. He's the the energetic stalker, if you will. Keep the lines of communication open. If you have a question, ask it. Don't ask other people. Be direct. Good things will come. There will be an upward turn of events if you just be direct. On a side note... Even if it doesn't seem like an upward turn of events at the time, sometimes doors gotta close before the doors can open. You know what I'm saying? Okay, glad we cleared that up with signs. All right, on to air. Da 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 da. da. I had to drive for an hour to go get something that we needed at work from another location. So it was an hour one way, so I actually drove for two straight hours. That is exhausting. It really is. I mean, I used to go on road trips all the time when I was like a lot younger, like 15 and 20 years ago before I was married and had a family and I was young and free and all that happy jazz. I didn't know how tiring it was back then. 
<laughs> now maybe I'm just getting old. I don't know. All right, Earth signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What does this week hold in store for you? Ace of Wands in the reverse, Six of Cups in the reverse. That's interesting. Lighting up old flames, are we? Trying to? Being not so successful? Because possibly there's some salty memories involved for somebody here. Could be you, could be the person you're dealing with. Let's have a look see. In the past, we have a Two of Swords and a Knight of Pentacles reversed. Oh boy. Hmm. Difficult decisions, possibly decisions being made without having all the information. Ground things to a halt. Knocked the Knight of Stability commitment right off of his broom. Yeah. Okay. That might be enough to put some salty memories in somebody's head, you know. I don't know. I'm not an air sign, so. Okay. A little bit more present or current energy. Nine of swords reversed. Ten of wands reversed. You tried to put it out of your head. You tried not to think about it. Think about them. Think about the situation. What happened. But with this Ten of Wands, um, there's something you need to get off your chest. And you never did. I think something, I love this phrase, kind of got left hanging out there. Hmm. It has a tendency to happen when things suddenly grind to a halt. Put it out of your head. Stop thinking about it. Next. All right, what's coming in for this week? Oh, God, the world. The world and the Eight of Wands. Oh, boy. I gotta throw a clarifier on this world card. I do. The world card is a... It's the closing and restarting of cycles. You close one out. You start another one. You finish the chapter in the book before you start the next chapter. I think you stopped reading the book somewhere up here about a page and a half, two pages before the chapter ended, and then you picked the book back up. Somebody tried to pick the book back up this weekend, or is going to this week. I'm stumbling over my words, I'm sorry. I'm super excited. Can I get a clarifier on this world card, please, universe? One card of clarity. Empress. Oh boy. Well, not special. For some of you, there may be a child involved. Nobody panic. I said, for some of you, there may be. Don't panic. The Empress also means just growth or someone wanting something to grow. That's all it really means. 
there's potential there for child involvement, but not necessarily. But if that resonated with you, I don't know. I'm just picking stuff out of the universe. I just read the cards, guys. Somebody may want to restart an old cycle thinking that there might be chance of growth. Can I get one more, please? Hi. <clears throat> Six of Wands in the reverse. Uh, for some of you, this might not be such a victorious moment. Somebody might get, uh, you know, well, knocked off their horse again. Not going to be such a, a, a rousing reception when this person returns or when you return to this person, depending on who's doing what in the situation. And I, um, I see a, a stop of forward movement and communication here. We're going to throw a clarifier on that, too. Can I get one on the eight of wands reversed, please? One card. One card. Hi! Five of wands. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. I dropped a couple of cards. Conflict! Who'd have thunk it? This might cause a little bit of conflict, yeah? You think? You think, baby? Again, it's not going to be such a rousing reception. There are salty memories involved. Four of Swords, but something will finally be laid to rest. A cycle will finally close out. Burdens can come off chests, and you can finally put something out of your head. Or they can, all things being vice versa and fluid. Oh, that was fun. Okay, well, let's get some advice. Star in the reverse, temperance in the upright. I love the fact that these came out together in the positions that they're in. What goes up must come down. All things eventually find balance, but you must be patient and you must take the good with the bad. For those of you who this is resonating with, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You have to be patient. It will iron itself out. You might not get what you wanted, but you're going to get what you needed. Sometimes the chapter in the book has a real crappy ending and the journey isn't always bliss but you're on the path you're supposed to be on high priestess in the reverse and the ace of cups in reverse Um, keep your ego in check. If you're the one with the wounded ego, be kind. If you're the one potentially wounding an ego, be kind. One more. Hey now, pick the whole deck up. The Three of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Oh, wow. <coughs> um, 
if you do decide to reunite with this person and close the cycle out that way, because there's more, more than one way to close the cycle out. Be honest about your intentions and make sure they make their intentions clear. Because this Seven of Swords is a sneaky little devil. And this Three of Cups is real sketch. Make sure you have all the information. And I'm not going to go too much farther into that. Because those of you who this is resonating with know exactly what I'm talking about, air signs. Okay. And for those of you who are looking at me cross-eyed right now and confused, the Three of Cups is kind of indicative of a third-party situation. And a third party can be anything. It doesn't necessarily have to mean somebody's being cheated on. It can be person, situation, interfering in a relationship. But, yeah, third, nah, the Three of Cups is a real sketch. All right, Water Signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Get some energy for you guys. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I knew earrings today. Um, I wear 14 gauge posts in my ears. I got four of them. Yeah, 14 gauge, right? No, 16s. They're 16s, sorry. Anyway, I wear 16 gauge posts. And last week I lost one of the balls off of a post and didn't realize it and I don't even know where I lost it and I lost an earring so I just ordered like eight pairs of earrings <laughs> from walmart.com so I have two complete sets just in case I lose another one they're multicolored and rainbow but I just put them in so they're like kind of itchy because my ears are getting used to having earrings again. Right. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Water signs, nine of cups, nine of swords, both in the upright. Water sign friends, why do you confuse me? You're like at the tip tops of emotional fulfillment, but something still lurks and keeps you up at night. You are happy as a clam, but you can't sleep. What's bothering you? What troubles you, my friend? All right, let's find out what's going on this week. Four Pentacles and the Lovers for the past. Hmm. Somebody held back how they felt about somebody. There was a very strong connection there, and somebody didn't, didn't say anything, didn't do anything. They held back. Okay. The Hermit and the Seven of Wands. Not so distant past. 
a little bit closer to the here and now. Could be a Virgo you're dealing with, or a Gemini. Hermit mode. You just kind of went inside, took a deep look, a little introspection, healthy introspection. Probably bordering on unhealthy introspection, but introspection. Thought things through. Still not talking or sharing. Just kind of working through it. And eventually you regain control. Okay. Might have to throw a clarifier between these two. I don't know. The seven of wands, no, that's not a control card. That is a battling an inner demon card. Throw a clarifier on it in a second. Three of cups and the two of wands, oh crap. Okay. Mm. <laughs> If the second three pops up, we're in trouble. Maybe you're dealing with an air sign. Who knows? There, there are swords. It could be. It's a possibility. Could be another water sign. Could be a fire sign. Could be an earth sign. It could be anybody. Oh, boy. Okay. Well... Coming in this week, we get the Three of Cups and Two of Wands. A reunion and a decision. Do you move forward? Out into the world? Into your future? Or do you cling to that wand in the past and just kind of hang back and not move forward? At least you're not stranded at the intersection. You're just having trouble making a choice. Okay, well. Can I get a clarifier on the Seven of Wands, please? Three Pentacles reversed. Not coming together. Okay, I dropped that. No. Just shuffle that back in and see if it comes back out. Four ones. introspection, battling an inner demon, internal struggles as to why it didn't quite come together, why the foundation was so shaky, and then the door opens back up. Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? If second three pops up, we're in trouble. <laughs> three swords. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, boy. Water signs. You're happy because a party you moved on. For some of you. Can I help you? Reading cards. What do you need? Uh, no, I took him back to the kitchen. Thank you. Stop leaving food in my room. I love you. Sorry. It's okay. Mm. He's back here munching, watching TV. <sighs> this reunion might lead to a broken heart. Could be yours, could be another person. Mmm, boy. Yeah. I don't think anybody's going to get cheated on, but somebody's definitely being kept up at night. 
And somebody is definitely battling an inner demon because the door just opened back up. That happens. Sometimes those doors open back up the worst possible time. But you're not the one in control of the timing, are you? Nope. No, you're not. Oh, P.S. Pluto's in retrograde? This might happen a lot over the, about the next three or four months. I, I can't even remember how long it's been in retrograde. <laughs> <clears throat> Coming back to haunt you. At least that's what I took out of that article I read a couple weeks ago. I could be wrong. I mean, I was half asleep when I read it, but... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm a Scorpio Venus. Don't you love it when you have moments like that? I'm not gonna lie, I've had a few come back to haunt me in the last couple of weeks. Like, out of the clear blue. Alright, why is the Two of Wands here for what's coming up this week? Why is the Two of Wands here? Then we're going to get some advice. Hi, Nine of Wands. How are you? Okay, so the walls come tumbling down and you wonder if this relationship has one last push in it or one last chance, one last try. Can I help you? I'm reading cards. What? I need someone to watch YouTube. Okay, well, you're going to have to wait till I'm done. I'm sorry. Mm. You see what I mean? See what I mean? I sit down to read cards and I do my thing. It's like, ah, guys, knock it off. Okay, so decision time. Influencing this decision is those walls that have been long built, tumbling down, those things that you didn't say. Going into hermit mode introspection, building up those walls, those walls coming down, a decision needs to be made, doors are opening that you thought were closed, hearts are going to break if you make the wrong decision, you don't know what to do, you're being kept up at night, you're happy, but you can't fucking sleep, okay, your advice being the knight of swords and the queen of wands, well, hmm, Make sure you have all the information before you do anything. Make sure you know everything there is to know before you make a move. Some of it might be instinct. The Queen of Wands is extremely impulsive. Mm. Very impulsive. Okay. Make informed, impulsive decisions, water signs. That just came from a Sagittarius. Just point that out. Seven of Cups reversed and the Five of Swords reversed. This is only going to get as confusing as you allow it to get. I have a sense someone's suddenly going to be changing their tune a little.
be careful with this one because you might not be able to pick the pieces up. It's coming to me slowly. It's because I'm exhausted. Oh boy, they last a little bit. The Queen of Cups and the Hierophant. Mm. She's holding the cup. She's holding the tenth cup. That's interesting. The Hierophant's the card of blessed union. He marries people. I don't know if it's going that far with you, but she's holding the 10th cup and you're happy. Some of you may be perfectly happy with the person you're with and someone has just come sneaking back up all of a sudden, making you question decisions. Something tells me this is not the first time this person's kept you up at night. I want you to remember who's holding the 10th cup. I just read the cards. Don't look at me. It's not my choice. Not my journey, not my decision. The cards just give a warning. Gosh, you guys are going to have one hell of a week. Damn. Hmm. What soap opera channel did I tune into? Holy crap. Fire signs, it's your turn. What's going on? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. God, I'm whipped. Oh, pardon me. I have five more signs to, that I wanted to knock out tonight after work. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Gosh. I'm going to try, but... It's windy out, too. And before I started reading, the lights flickered a couple of times. They've been having power outages on and off all day. I've really got to stop manifesting crap into my life. You remember the... Okay, do you... Some of you guys remember about a year ago? You guys remember this? It's been probably about six months to a year ago. Sometime last summer, last fall, something. I don't know. Um... So I couldn't upload readings one night in the middle of the night because I lost power. And when I lost power, I lost internet. I've got to stop manifesting crap into my life. Because it would be a holy disaster if I lost power tonight. I don't have any bottle of water in the house. And I have five more readings to do. Oh, pardon me. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm going to shut up and finish these readings. What's going to happen to you guys this week? Oh. I'm about to chug a lug some caffeine. Whoa. Not looking at it. Not looking at it. Didn't look at it. It was face down. Five of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Could be a dispute at work. It is the work week top and bottom of the deck. A feud or a spat coming to an end and people deciding they want to work on it. Okay. Put some work into the relationship. Stop biting. All right. In the past, we have a Ten of Cups and a Page of Cups. It was freaking bliss. Freaking bliss. Good communication. All right. Where's the problem? Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Oh, gosh. The Knight of Cups is extremely non-committal. Not quite as non-committal as the Knight of Wands, but still very non-committal. Um, <clears throat> if I'm reading this correctly, everything was bliss, everything was fine. 
then all of a sudden someone decided they wanted their independence with this Queen of Pentacles. I got enough of my own. I don't need yours. It may have been either the catalyst of the argument, part of the argument, definitely. These, this is tying in. This is tying in for me right here, these two specifically. Somebody decided they didn't want a commitment. So it started and ended just as fast. Just like that. Went from bliss nada. Okay, well. <laughs> and this is where the nada part comes in. I think this Eight of Pentacles is someone wanting to put work in elsewhere or work on themselves. Okay. It's that darn song again. I knew it was over when the fighting stopped. Can I get some clarity on this Ace of Pentacles reversed, please? Oh, this week coming Ace of Pentacles reversed, Two of Cups reversed. I need clarity on the Ace of Pentacles, please. King of Wands and the Three of Swords reverse popped out. That house plan is dead. There is no forward movement. But the good news is it you're not going to be that heartbroken about it. I think this is something that, that's been healing for a minute. Possibly for some of you. I think some of you may finally get closure this week. Could be. After all this Knight of Cups, he rides in, he rides out. He rides in, he rides out. You may, I don't know, I'm hearing unexpected email or text message. If you haven't already received it, you may receive it this week. Very unexpected, but I don't think you're going to do anything about it because you're working on you. The fighting has stopped. The arguing has stopped. You're at peace. You're good. Why is the Two of Cups reversed here? Five of Swords reversed. There's no pieces to pick up. Hmm. Remain disconnected. No pieces to pick up. I'm curious. I'm curious. I don't normally do this. Why is the Page of Cups up here? Why is the Page of Cups here? Temperance, the moon. Everything was bliss. Everything was wonderful. The energy was flowing. Everything was grand. So you thought. Mm. This is the illusion and the smoke and mirrors and it was all just words. This is the, this was supposed to happen. This is another blessed union card, believe it or not. It is. Yes. She watches over, she, he, whichever angel is depicted, watches over those unions that are kind of sketchy because she brings patience and she brings positive energy flow. This was supposed to go down the way it did. There was a reason for this. I want you to keep that in mind. 
this is one of those relationships that steered you down the path you were supposed to go down. This was angelic intervention. That is amazing. I like it. Fire signs, I like it. I do. You might not like it, but I like it. Sometimes the universe has a way of re-steering us where we're supposed to go. I don't know why. I just read the cards. <sighs> okay. Let's get some advice. The hair and the Queen of Wands. Didn't they come out together? <laughs> you might be dealing with a water sign. I don't know. That's crazy. Wow. They were flipped the other way, though. So, okay. Give me a second to wrap my head around this. This was meant to teach you something. Give me a second. Okay. One more. I'm going to read all six of them together. Okay. Okay. Nine of Wands reversed. Four of Wands reversed. The Ace of Cups upright strength in the reverse. Okay. This was meant to teach you something. The Queen of Wands, yes, she is impulsive. Represents all fire signs, by the way, so I'm kind of glad she popped up. She's very intuitive. She's a crap together. She didn't take crap from anybody. But she's got a crap together. She's, she's an initiator. She's also a little bit of an instigator, depending on what position she's in, where she's at, in a spread. But this was meant to teach you something. I don't know what that is. The only one who knows what that is is you. So those of you who may have, I don't know, maybe going down a wrong path, this is going to hurt a little bit, but this was meant to teach you something. Just keep that in mind when you're going through this. When this person comes back. Okay. Okay. Nine of Wands, Four of Wands, both in the reverse. The walls come tumbling down. You know, the Four of Wands reversed is my little minor arcana tower card. I'm not sure if we've ever talked about that. Possibly. I say it all the time, so I'm sure you guys know that. This was meant to fall apart. It wasn't meant to stay together. <clears throat> I don't know how to put this. I've never been stumped like this before. If you think it's worth one last try, by all means, go for it. It was meant to come apart the first time. I don't think it's going to be stable a second time around either, but do what you want. But this lesson may be that you need to trust yourself. That it's okay to admit when you need help. 
It's okay to trust your judgment. Hold back. Hold back because there's something new in store for you that wasn't this. As tempted as you might be to come back to this, because it was bliss. Or was it? There was a lot of things you didn't know. And when it fell apart, you didn't understand why. It did it to teach you something. It fell apart because it was meant to, fire signs. It wasn't meant to stay together. <sighs> okay. One last one. Four of Cups reversed and the Hanging Man reversed. Don't get emotionally stuck. And don't ignore the cup when it comes to you. Don't get so blinded by the past that you miss the cup. Love you guys. You know I do. Okay, everybody. This has been the work week top and bottom of the deck reading. I'm sorry. It's about 12 hours late. I'm going to go eat some dinner. And if I'm feeling froggy enough, I, I may come back and knock a couple more of the cycle readings out tonight i don't know but i want you guys to enjoy this thanks for coming by like share and subscribe if you haven't already if you feel so compelled you know i hope i didn't put anybody to sleep I'm not gonna twist anybody's arm if you think a friend might need it share it yeah whatever whatever tickles your funny bone and if you want to know when i upload again hit the notification bell because it's pretty sporadic you know i i have a regular job and i have a family and and i'm i'm a i'm real I mean, not that not, uh, I'm real. So I love you guys. Two bits. See you on Friday for the weekend top and bottom reading. Bye for now.